everyone welcome back today's video is gonna be really fun i'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step diy and how i make this isabella rana inspired backless tops i have been seeing this style everywhere on my instagram on pinterest and they're mainly like from isabella rana she sells these on her depop so if you see ba to make this or you don't have the right kind of shirt to do this definitely go buy one from her so i made one of these already back in summer from this navy blue shirt of my dad's i think the color of the shirt makes it the perfect going out style top and then after i show you how to make the top i'm going to show you how i style both of these in completely different ways but like every occasion so stay tuned for that and i hope you guys enjoy the diy all you need is a shirt of your choice this one i picked up at a charity shop and then thread of your choice some needles and some pins um you don't really need the pins but if you want it to be a straight line you'll probably need the pins and then a pen and a ruler to measure it oh and some scissors obviously some scissors so yeah so so easy let's get started so first step try the shirt on measure where you want it to go up obviously leave a few centimeters for seam allowance so if you know exactly where you want it to hit on your stomach mark it a little bit lower i'm gonna lie out flat and see where you made your mark so the style of this top is to from the bottom as you're cropping like follow it up right to uh, where the arm seam is go all the way up there so you get that full like side on skin on show like bit if you want to be really accurate you can just use a plate turn it upside down do half of it fold it over and trace the second half of the top um with the other ones you get a fully symmetrical thing but i'm me i'm lazy and i don't really care so i'm just gonna go ahead and wing it with a pencil and kind of use my ruler as a bit of a base um but it's up to you i feel like you don't need to go that up high if you don't want to so basically how i've kind of been doing it is i just sort of like slowly go up in like an upwards motion and as i go i'm like tilting the ruler to follow it so it's like a straight line but it's curved if that makes sense so this is roughly what your top should look like and then we're gonna now make the back again you can kind of choose how much back you want to expose but the whole premise of this top is like a triangle cut a triangle a rectangle cut out on the back whole back is exposed so what i suggest is finding the seams on the back of the shirt and making a seam allowance of your choice like two centimeters is probably fine um just in case and yeah just lining it out cutting it out and then sewing it and i tend to sew them in three different sections like do that one first check it's all right like do that one next and then that one and yeah okay i don't know what i'm talking you know how to sew then i'm gonna take my scissors and cut this out um, and then we're going to use the rest of the fabric to make the tie straps and obviously keep any scrap fabric that you do have It's really important to upcycle and use it for other projects in the future Okay, now we're going to make our straps. I would say make these longer than you think So for me, I'm going to use the length of the whole shirt going down Okay, now it's the long part which is sewing. You can obviously sew by a sewing machine I'm going to sew by hand because my sewing machine is acting up I like CBA to try and fix it so so once you pin the front I think it's quite a good idea to like try it on again check the length is all right and then you can always repin if like one bit doesn't look that right I just tried mine on and I'm really happy with it I think it looks much cool and it looks good so I'm just gonna start sewing I'm gonna sew with thin white thread um, as it matches like the white in the top and then I'm gonna use a small little needle and I'm just gonna sit in bed, <laughs> watch my YouTube, watch my TV shows and I'm gonna sew this. Now that everything's hemmed, it's time to do the straps. So you wanna get the nice outside bit, fold over and then sew all the way down. And then once you get to the end, you can use a safety pin um, and you basically thread it through, which means that you'll pull it open. It will be like seamless and look really nice. Or you can just sew it in whatever way you want. But that is a good way of making it look a little bit more seamless. And it's really fun when you get to like pull it through. It's yeah, it's fun. <laughs> or at least I find it fun. So with Isabella's ones, she tends to tie them quite low so you can really see the straps, um, which I really, really like. It just depends like what you want to do. 
On the one that I did before, I tied them exactly where it hit the armpit sleeve. Just try it on and see where you want it to be cinched in and just put it wherever you want to put it. The top is finished and I'm obsessed with it. It is exactly what I wanted it to be and more. I think this came out way better than my blue one. Um, and I think the trick with that is picking a shirt that is already like fitted. That way on the back, like it's really nice and secure. For this first outfit, I decided to go for like a white theme. As is white in the top, I've paired it with my Urban Outfitters white baggy jeans. Um, gives a really nice, chill loose fit which contrasts like the tightness of the top and as it's cropped it's nice to just like go for it and have like a lot of skin on show and I wore them with my white and blue Nikes and I'm gonna wear it with this bag my little pink Miffy bag and I just did my hair down with these little plaits and these dangly earrings and then I thought I would try and layer some jewellery both of these beaded necklaces are from Serum Beaded um, but yeah I think it looks kind of nice underneath really subtle detail and for going out I thought my trench would look really nice with it because it's cream so it goes with this like neutral vibe we have going on and I think it really makes the top pop this look I wore darker jeans because it matches the like dark blue piping on the shirt that you can see um, and this little pink bandana because it matches the pink on here but I feel like I'm kind of running out of ideas for this one apart from like some baggy jeans I don't really know what else would work for it maybe if I had like cream beige trousers but I don't um, and then I wore my fluffy afghan because I feel like this just looks kind of nice with it I don't know let me know what you think And the final outfit is just stolen from my lookbook, so you guys can go and watch that. But I had to include it because it's so cute. I love the way this top looks with the mini skirt and the boots. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more DIY content from me, subscribe down below. I have a really cool one coming in like a couple weeks. And I also made a DIY video over lockdown, which you can click on the cards on screen, wherever they are. Follow me on my social media to keep up with me. Subscribe down below if you enjoyed, and I will see you all in my next video.